In 2015, Virginia ranked in the top 10 states for the most reported sex trafficking cases. Now, a nonprofit in Virginia Beach is working to provide young victims a safe place to live. Tune on your side, Joe Fisher joins us now with what they're trying to accomplish. Joe? Brandy, the founder of the Butterfly House says children are being trafficked in every city across Hampton Roads. She calls it a hidden problem. Now the nonprofit is embarking on a $1 million effort to get a safe house up and running by the end of this year. And they say they need your help. Oh, in the United States, there are 300,000 that are trafficked. Char Miller is on a crusade to give victims of sex trafficking a solid shot at a meaningful life. I was walking the boardwalk and I saw a young girl probably between the ages of 15 and 17 trafficked. That was two years ago. Saturday, she returned to the boardwalk with about 50 others. The group is trying to raise enough money to purchase a safe house for sexually abused women 11 to 17 years old. A young girl at the age of 11 will have to service up to 50 to 100 men a day. Uh, they are beaten, they are starved, they're forced to use drugs, they are threatened if they leave that their families will be killed. In 2015, the Attorney General's office said more than 100 cases of human trafficking were reported in Virginia. Miller says so many other cases go unreported. A man was selling his daughter from Ohio in Richmond, Virginia online for $45,000. That was a bid and it was going higher. It's those women she wants to help. Miller says the safe house will include homeschooling and therapy, but above all, a support system to guide the women on a positive path. I believe every person is made in the image of God and they have a special purpose. And that is my purpose, to set them free. And the Butterfly House has raised about $10,000 so far. A long way to go for them. We've posted a link uh, to their fundraising page on wavy.com. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.